Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to learn what is Newton forward interpolation method and uh, we will be discussing about the Newton's forward interpolation method in this video. Okay. So uh, my first question arises is why and where will I use this Newton forward interpolation method? There are basically four types of interpolation method. One is Newton's forward, another one is Newton backward, third is Lagrange and fourth is Newton's dividing difference interpolation method. Okay. So why will I use this method over here? Okay, so whenever you see an even integer gapping between the values of x, that is 5 minus 0 is 5, 20 minus 15 is 5, 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 10 is 5. So there is an even gapping between the x values. So I'll use Newton's forward interpolation method or Newton's backward interpolation method. Okay, these methods are basically used when there is an even gapping, Newton's forward and Newton's backward, okay? And why will I use only Newton's forward interpolation method over here? See, I have to find f of 3, f of 3, where is f of 3? Means I have to find the value of 3, where is 3? 3 is just before the mid value, okay? Mid is 10, 3 is just before the mid value, so I will use Newton's forward interpolation method. If if let me guess, if I want to find uh, 20, uh, 17, 17 is just after the mid value, so I'll use over there Newton's backward interpolation method. Okay, so these are the two methods, and where will I use these methods? I have cleared it all. Okay, now this is my question. This type of question will be provided to you, and you have to make a table from this table like this. Okay, so it's not quite uh, tough it's very easy you can draw it very easily okay so what what I have to do over here I will take 0 5 10 15 and 20 over here in the x column fx I have taken 1.0 1.6 3.8 8.2 and 15.4 okay now what is delta y0 delta square y0 delta cube y0 delta to the power 4 y0 and how much till how much will I proceed okay Constructing this table from this table is quite easy. Okay, so uh, how will you proceed from this table to this table? I have x value 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20. I have taken it over here. I have fx 1.0, 1.6, 3.8, 8.2, 15.4. .8, I have taken over here. Okay, the rest of the part, which is delta y0, delta square y0, delta cube y0, delta to the power y0, and further. Okay, so how will I know? that I have to do this much of delta, okay? And first thing, what is delta? Delta is a smaller value of fx or you can say y. What is delta square y0? Delta square y0 is just a smaller value of delta y0. Delta, y0. delta q y0 is just a smaller value of delta square y0, okay? And further it will proceed like that. And till how much will I proceed? I will proceed till the value where I will get a single value or I'll get a zero, okay? So this is my table, where till I proceed, I'll proceed further as I get a zero or I get a single value, okay? So how will I construct this table from this table, okay? So what is delta y0, delta square y0, delta q y0, and delta to the power four y0? Let me take, if I subtract 1.0 from 1.6, you will get 0.6, which is delta y0. Further, if I subtract 1.6 from 3.8, I'll get 2.2. If I subtract 3.8 from 8.2, I'll get 4.4. If I subtract 8.2 from 15.4, I'll get 7.2, okay? So this is my delta y0. Similarly, I'll calculate my delta square y0 from delta y0. How? If I subtract 2.2 from 0.6, I'll get 1.6. If I subtract 4.4 from 2.2, I'll get 2.2. If I subtract 7.2 from 4.4, I'll get 2.8. Similarly, delta q y0 and delta to the power 4 y0 will be calculated as I have calculated delta y0 and delta square y0. Okay? So, if I'm going to calculate delta q y0, how will I do that? Similarly, 2.2 minus 1.6, I'll get 0.6. If I subtract 2.8 from 2.2, I'll get 0.6. And if I subtract these two, I'll get 0, okay? So, till 0 or a single value, I'll proceed this table, I'll just keep on going with this table till I get a 0 
or a single one. Okay, clear. So I have constructed this table from this table. Okay, now come to my formula part. Okay, so what is the formula of Newton's forward interpolation method? Okay. y is equals to fx plus p of delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial delta square y0 plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 by 3 factorial into delta cube y0 and so and so on okay so how will you memorize this formula for uh, for this derivation of the formula you can proceed to your books you can refer to your book but for just doing the sums I have just written the formula. You just memorize this formula for doing the sums. Okay. So, how to learn this formula? Okay. How many values are there in the numerator part? Two values. So I have divided it by two factorial. How many values are there in the numerator part? Three values. So I have divided it by three factorial. Same. Two values in the num uh, numerator part. That's why I have divided it with two factorial and. I have taken square of y zero, delta square y zero. Three parts in the numerator. That's why I divided it with delta, uh, three factorial and cube of delta y zero, and so on and so forth. Okay, it will go like that. Now, what is my value of p? P is equals to x minus x naught by h. Okay, so don't be confused with x and x naught. Okay, what is x? X is the value that you have to find. What is you have to find? You have to find three. Okay. And what is x not? Remember one thing: x not is the value just before x. What is x? X is three. What is just before x in the table, which is zero? Three comes over here. Let me guess. Three comes over here. Okay. So what is the value just before the three in the table, which is zero? So my x not value is zero. Okay. And what is my h? H is the even. Equal interval between x. What is even equal interval? Five minus zero, ten minus five, fifteen minus ten, twenty minus fifteen, which is five. Okay, so h is five. Okay, h is five, x is three, and x not is zero. Don't be confused with x and x not. I'm repeating it once again. What is x not? X not is the value that you have to find. Three. And what is x not? X not is the value just before x. Given in the table, okay, which is zero over here. So this is x not zero and x, okay. P is equals to three minus zero, three minus zero by five, which is zero point six. Now I have just taken my formula. I have put it over here. Now there are multiple values in this table, okay. Which value you will consider for delta y zero, delta square y zero, delta cube y zero, and delta four y zero, and so on and so on. There are multiple numerous value over there, okay. So don't be confused with it. What is x not over here? X not is zero. What is x not? X not is zero. X not is zero. So the diagonal value of this x not, you will take this. If let us consider, you have to find six. Okay, f of six. And what is your x not over here? Your x not will be five. Just before that value in the table, which is five. So over here you will consider delta y zero, delta square y zero, delta cube y zero, delta four y zero. This one, okay. So it is quite clear with that. Now I am just moving to my formula. What is f x? F x is I am not taking this one. I am taking this one. Okay. What is f x? One point zero, which is one point zero. Now p into y zero. What is p? Zero point six. Zero point six into y zero. Y zero is point six. 0.6 into 0.6. Now p 0.6 into 0.6 minus 1 by 2 factorial into 1.6 plus 0.6 into 0.6 minus 1 into 0.6 minus 2 by 3 factorial into 0.6. And if I if I take for y 4 it is 0, so I haven't taken that one because uh, multiplication with 0 it will be a 0. Okay. So after calculating this, I came to a conclusion with this. This is 1. This is 0.6 into 0.6 is 0.36. This is after this calculating, I have got this, and after this calculation, I have got this. Okay, and for uh, y4, you are, you are given or provided over there is zero, so I have taken zero as because multiplication is zero, it's zero. You know that, and uh, for these parts, you can calculate in your calculator. Okay, this will be a negative one. Okay, why? Because there is a single negative value over here. 
Why this is not negative? Because there are two negative values. 0 0.6 minus 1 is minus 0.4 and 0 0.6 minus 2 into minus 1.4 which is minus minus will be cancelled out and this will be a positive value. So this is my value with that. So I have just added this value and I have got this. So this is my answer for Newton forward interpolation method for finding f of 3 means my f of 3 is 1.2016 1.2016 okay thank you friends for liking our videos do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below